Short Stories of Grief by me. Part 1. A world once filled with beauty and colour suddenly drained. My heart aches constantly and consistently. It doesn't feel real. None of it does. It feels like a nightmare, a never-ending dream that's trapped me in its grips and won't allow me to break free. Losing you is like losing the light in my life, the positive and supportive outlook. The kind smile that you always held on your face. Nothing was ever too much of a burden, nothing was ever too bad. You always saw the best in me and always made sure I could achieve all my dreams. But I need you now. I need you to hug me and tell me it's all okay and that it's okay to lose people and that you'll always be there if not physically. I need just one more day of you completely healthy so I can apologise and tell you how much I love you. I wrote you a letter saying it but I don't think you'll have been able to even understand it. I bought you tablet like you'd always do for me but I know you won't have been able to have it. I just wish it wasn't like this. Part two. A sunflower in a world diminished by distress. That's what you are. The light of a crumbling situation. An event that would cause decay to most, but you still stand strong if hurt along the way. The kindest soul and warmest heart. An everlasting love beyond the grave. The one sunflower beside it is decreasing as the days go on. It's a matter of time before the final petal wilts away. But although the sunflower is going, going, gone, doesn't mean the other flowers aren't there to show its beauty. A bunch of poppies around the stem blowing in the wind bluebells nearby, an abundance of colour below a bleak sky. The sun will return and the bloom will continue. The wind will blow softly through the petals and everything will become more simple once again. But alas, this is not a tale of flowers and it is a tale of real life. The sun may be leaving us in its human form, slowly, sadly and painfully, but it will return to the sky and shine on over us forever and ever. Part 3 It's 3 a.m. 3 fucking a.m. And here I sit. I'm drowned in sorrow and I'm wondering what the point is. What's the point in trying with anything? Everything leads to hurt anyways. My whole being hurts, my eyes swollen, rubbed raw from crying, mascara smudged down and off my face as I make efforts to calm myself. Nothing works though. My head is pounding and my nose is blocked once again from sobbing. My heart used to be held in a warm cage of security and love and sadness was only silliness with a mask on, but this is different. This is debilitating. It's 4am now. A whole hour has passed and I remain in the same place, crying sporadically but just as hard. Saying I can't do this seems to be the only true thing anyone's saying to me, even then I'm saying it to myself. Loneliness combined with the eternal ache of losing you is tearing my existence apart. Even when I'm okay, I'm not. 5am. The world's still dark. The tears have stopped but the aching continues. I just need a hug. <laughs>